As you can hear, I am uh, at the airport. A Syrian man has been stuck in transit at KLIA2 for more than a month, he said, in a case that echoes the Steven Spielberg movie The Terminal. Hassan al Konta has been posting video blogs of his daily life on Twitter and Facebook that have attracted the attention of human rights groups and the media. The 36-year-old, who said he had been living at the airport since March 7, fears arrest if sent back to Syria, where a civil war has been raging for seven years. This is a story of hundreds of Syrians who, is stuck, who are stuck in the airports, uh, suffering because of uh, their nationality and uh, uh, passport they are holding. Uh, airlines are not allowing us to board because of our nationality. We are facing a kind of racism uh, uh, and hateness, rejected, unwanted. I... The former insurance salesman said he was living in the United Arab Emirates when war broke out in Syria. In 2016, he was deported to Kuala Lumpur after the Syrian embassy in the UAE refused to renew his passport. It took him more than a year to raise enough money to buy a flight ticket to Ecuador, but the airline refused to board him. He tried instead to fly to Cambodia but was again rejected by immigration authorities and deported back to KL. April 12 marked Hassan's 37-day living in KLIA2's transit zone and it depends on the kindness of airport and airline staff for food and supplies. Most of the day you would be thinking how to solve the temporary problems you are facing. Uh, uh, just to make your life easier as much as you can. For example, uh, things you never think of it before as a, a problem, but it become a problem uh, in this uh, uh, situation. Uh, where can you take a shower, for example? The UN Refugee Agency, UNHCR, however, is aware of his situation, but could not tell him how long the process of getting him out will take. Uh, today they show and they interviewed me, but uh, they uh, make it clear uh, we can give you no promises and we don't know how much time it uh, needs to be solved or you find to, to be approved. So we'll be here only until we look at that. A similar case occurred to two Palestinian siblings who were stranded at KLIA2 for 52 days late last year. After Immigration Director General Dato Sri Mustafa Ali came to know of their plight, they were granted a special pass to allow them to enter Malaysia to process a visa to go to Germany.